Welcome back. So today we're going to read a story titled Wild Weather. And if you have a Wonders Anthology book, you can open up your book to page 280 and follow along with me. So let's go ahead and get started. Wild Weather by Seymour Simon. Genre, expository text. Essential question, how does weather affect us? Read about how stormy weather affects people and places. Air is all around us. The air moves and wind blows. Changes in the air are called weather. Sometimes weather is sunny and fair. Other times it's cloudy and rainy. Storms are sudden, harsh changes in the weather. Thunderstorms. A thunderstorm is a heavy rain shower. In a few minutes, a big thunderstorm can drop millions of gallons of water. Hundreds of thunderstorms pop up every second somewhere around the world. These storms have lightning. Thunder is the sound of lightning. Lightning. Lightning is a giant spark of electricity. A bolt of lightning is six to 10 miles long, but only as thick as your finger. Lightning is hotter than the surface of the sun. A bolt of lightning can be very dangerous and cause harm. The heat of a lightning bolt can set fire to a tree or a house. Would you like to know how far away the lightning you see is? Count the number of seconds between the lightning flash and the clap of thunder. Every five seconds equals one mile away. If thunder booms a second or two after you see lightning, that's a warning. That sound means that the lightning bolt is very close to you. Information box, how lightning works. Cold air sinks, hot air rises. Electrical charges build up between the ground and the cloud. Tornadoes. Thunderstorms sometimes give birth to a string of tornadoes or twisters. Dark twisting tornadoes reach downward from the storm. The winds in a tornado whirl hundreds of miles per hour. They can lift heavy trucks into the air. They can destroy houses by blowing away their roofs. On May 22, 2011, a tornado a mile wide ripped through the city of Joplin, Missouri. The huge tornado hurt many people. It destroyed buildings and damaged most of the city. Caption, the tornado damaged this house in Joplin, Missouri. Watches and warnings. An early warning on television, radio stations, and the internet helps to save lives. An early alert is called a tornado watch. A tornado warning means that a tornado has been seen. A tornado warning means that you should find shelter. Stop and check. Ask and answer questions. What does a tornado warning mean? Go back to the text to find the answer. Looking at the text, I can see the difference between a tornado watch and a tornado warning. A tornado watch means that the weather conditions are right and a tornado can happen. Now, a tornado warning is when somebody actually sees a funnel cloud and it's very likely that a tornado will touch down to the ground. So when there's a tornado warning, people seek shelter immediately. So let's continue. Hurricanes. Hurricanes are the biggest storms of all. They hurt more people and destroy more buildings than all other kinds of storms put together. Hurricanes happen during the summer and early fall. They form over warm ocean waters, then they move and may reach land. Hurricanes stretch for hundreds of miles. Their dangerous winds blow at speeds between 74 and 200 miles per hour. Waves from the storms may wash away shorelines, boats, and houses. Stop and check. Ask and answer questions. When do hurricanes happen? Go back to the text to find the answer. Well, I'm looking at the text and the text says hurricanes happen during the summer and early fall. So lots of times when we're watching the news, like in August, September, and October, that's when we normally see news about hurricanes in Florida usually by the Atlantic Ocean, but there are times where we have hurricanes down in the Gulf of Mexico and sometimes in the Pacific Ocean. In August 2005, Hurricane Katrina became one of the worst storms in history. Many people in Louisiana were left homeless because of Katrina. The damage to buildings in the city of New Orleans cost billions of dollars. Caption, rain from Hurricane Katrina flooded the streets in New Orleans. Blizzards. 
Hurricanes are warm weather storms. Blizzards are huge winter snowstorms. Two or three inches of snow fall every hour. Temperatures are below freezing. Strong winds blow fiercely. In February 2007, a Valentine's Day blizzard hit the eastern half of North America. Heavy snowfalls blanketed much of the country. Some places had up to four feet of snow. Millions of homes lost power for days. Thousands of people were stuck in airports and on snowy highways. No one can prevent a storm. Stormy weather can happen anywhere. Someday you and your family may be in a big storm. If you know what to do in advance, you will be safer when the next storm strikes. Information box, safety tips. Here are some storm safety tips for you and your family. Stay inside during strong snowstorms. Keep a storm safety kit with bottled water and flashlights handy. Stay away from windows. Stay away from downed power lines. About the author. Seymour Simon has always been interested in science. When he was a teenager in New York City, he was president of the Junior Astronomy Club. He even built his own telescope to see the stars. Seymour taught science to kids for many years before he became a writer. He hasn't given up teaching, though. I never will, not as long as I keep writing and talking to kids around the country and the world. Seymour has written more than 250 books on science and has won many important awards. His books make science clear, easy to understand, and fun. Author's purpose. What do you think was Seymour's purpose for writing Wild Weather? Well, if I am going to think about his purpose, I know that our genre was expository text, and I know when I read expository text, it's to learn something. So Seymour Simon must have wanted us to learn more about wild weather, and that was his purpose. So I hope you enjoyed this text. I know I did because I learned a lot of great, interesting facts. So what did you learn? Go ahead and let me know, and we'll talk later. Bye.